So on Twitch, if you stream with copyrighted music, then your video on demand is likely to get taken down you know, due to those copyright reasons. Um, but there's a way around it, and that is called a VOD track. And basically what a VOD track is, it's a separate audio track that is used on that video video on demand specifically. And this is completely separate to your stream audio. So your stream audio, you can have your game audio, you can have your mic audio, and you can have your music audio. And you can play that and all of your live viewers can be watching that and, you know, listening to the music along with you. But then if like the following day, some subscribers, some followers from like the other side of the world that weren't able to like watch you, they come and like catch up with the, with the live stream on the VOD. When you're watching the VOD or when you're watching the clips, that music will be totally gone. And the way you do this is by enabling a VOD track in OBS. So the way that you do this is pretty straightforward and simple. At least at, on the OBS level, it's a simple way of doing this. It does get a little bit more complicated. So all you do is you come to your output settings on OBS, on your streaming tab, and then you just tick this Twitch VOD track and select your VOD track. So you have your streaming audio as track one and your um, VOD track as track two. Okay, and then that's it. That's pretty much all you need to do for the settings. And then it's just a case of selecting which device you want to be included in which VOD track. So for example, let's go to the, the cog here, advanced audio properties. This shows me all of the devices that I've got and the tracks that they're associated to. So we have, so for example, I've got my desktop audio, my mix amp audio and my snowball. So that's um, game sound, chat sound and microphone sound all going through. And that, that will be what is on the live stream because they're all set to track one. Now, what I can also do is I can say, well, actually maybe on the VOD, I don't want my mix amp track to go through. So I could say, I'll have my desktop audio, which is my game sound and just my mic sound coming through. And then with that unchecked on track two, that won't show on the VOD track. So when someone listens to this after the fact, there'll be no like chat sound on there, for example. The problem that you're gonna face comes to setting up where the audio goes in the first place and getting these tracks separated. Right, so in a computer, you have audio devices. You may have come across these before, you may not have done, um, but these are in your sound control panel. So this is your sound control panel and these are the devices that you've got installed on your system. Yours will look a little bit different, like it's hardware specific. So for example, this one is where all of my default sound comes to. So this is like my my game sounds, if I was to play music, anything I play on like YouTube or anything like that is all going to come out of this one particular device. And this one is my default communications device. And this is just down to the hardware setup that I've got. And having a setup very similar th makes things infinitely more easy than the alternative. Okay. Now, this is the more expensive solution, but let me explain to you the, my setup and show you basically what it looks like and how to make this one work. And then I'll go on to the less expensive, more convoluted and fiddly way of getting things done. I have a very nice set of headphones and they're called Astro A40 is by Astro Gaming. And the way they work is they plug into what's called a mix amp. So they've got a wire that goes into there, and then that goes into the PC. But additionally, it's got a second wire that goes into the PC. So I've got an optical cable and a USB cable. And that is basically the two different audio devices that we saw on my, on my screenshot. It's got the, the communications device, and it's also got the, um, the optical, the digital output, you see. And so what I can do in OBS is I can say, well, the USB is on track two and the optical is on track one. And so both of these, they get merged into one sound in my headphones so that I can hear both of these things in one go. And in OBS, I can say, well, let's take track one, take track two, and then send both of those over to Twitch. And I can say, okay, well, combine both these tracks for the stream, but only use track two for the VODs. So that's a pretty simple setup. And then it just works like that. There's no, there's no problem with that. That just works. The problem that you're going to have if you 
don't have a setup like this is separating these two audio tracks and being able to hear them yourself. Now, typically, you're going to have your game. We'll represent this game with a nice little icon. Okay, so we'll say that's our game. And then we also have Spotify, don't we? So let's just say we have Spotify here. Right, so we've got our game audio, we've got Spotify, and we also presumably have our microphone. So all of these are connected to your computer. And this is where the problem arises, is these two. The microphone is not a problem. The microphone, we can easily say, okay, we'll stick that on track, track one and track two, okay? So let's go on track one and track two, no bother. These two, however, these two will come out of the default sound device and they will get merged, both of them, into one audio stream. And then you can basically say, well, these can go on track one or they can go on track two, but ultimately you can't say that only this one is on track one and this one is on track two, for example. You know, you can't split those up. And so because you can't split those two up, if you were to say, well, I want my microphone going on track one and sending that over to Twitch, great. People, on, when they're looking on the VODs, they'll be able to hear you speak. But they won't be able to hear you, hear your, like, game audio, for example. So if you said, okay, well, I'm going to put my default sound device over to track one. Great. People can hear the game audio and they can hear the music on the stream. But then if you wanted to have track two with the VOD without the music, how do you separate it? Because if you then said, okay, well, I'm going to have this sound device going through to track two on the VOD, you would still hear the music. This is, this is the difficulty that most people will face. But there is a solution to this. So what you're going to need is a separate audio device for all of these. So we're going to have... So we'll just forget about the microphone because the microphone is super easy. We'll just say the microphone's dealt with. You don't need to worry about the microphone. It has its own audio device. What we need is separate audio devices for these. We'll call these audio devices. So that the game audio goes through there, Spotify goes through there, and then you can send all of these through to Twitch. So we'll say this can be on track one plus two, this can be on track two, and this can be on track one and two. Okay. And so then in OBS, what you do is that you would have these set, these set up all as separate tracks, as audio sources, sorry. You'd have all these set up as different audio sources. So these are what you'd show in, in your mixer. So you'd have the different audio sources in here. But how do you get the different audio sources? So you need to install some virtual audio cables. Now this, you, you may be able to get some free software. I... I've only tried what I've tried and I've not experimented any further after I got it working. Um, but there's some, some old software cut just called virtual audio cables. And so this is the software where you can get it. I can, I'll put a link in the description as well. Now this is, it's um, a, a premium thing. You have to purchase this. You know, you can't, you can't get around that is what it is. Um, but it, it's, it's not too expensive. It's like $30. And if you're really passionate about streaming, then it's just a small price to pay for getting this working essentially. And so what this does is it adds more devices to, to your system that you can use. Okay, so to set up virtual audio cables, first thing you're gonna need to do is you need to go into your virtual audio cable control panel. And this is what it looks like. And what you need to do is you need to set your cables to at least two, right? So it depends on your circumstances and how big you wanna scale this, whatever. But for the very, very basics of, simply um, 
you know, broadcasting your music, listening to your music, and sending your game sound to Switch and everything, then you're going to need two. Okay. So you change it to two and you press set, and it'll add two audio devices to your system, two virtual audio devices. So that's going to look like this. So you've got your line one and your line two. It says virtual audio cable on them, so you can see those are in there. So once you've got those set up, you can exit out of this program. Oh, you do need to run this in administrator mode as well, just so you know. So once that's done, you can then go and you can go ahead and add these devices to there. So we can do it actually doesn't matter if you do an audio input and an, or an audio output. It, it doesn't make a lot of difference. Um, I'll say audio output capture and we'll call this one game sounds. Or in fact, we'll call this system sounds. Right, so this this will basically this is designed to capture everything that your system produces, with the exception of the music. So, and we will say this one is line one virtual audio cable. So press OK on that. Now this will this is not going to capture anything just yet, and I'll show you why in a minute. And um, we'll also add another audio output capture, and we'll call this one music. And We'll set that to line two, okay? And just for the sake of completion, we're gonna put into an audio input capture and we'll say that that is the mic and just basically pick whatever mic that you are using. So there we go, we've got the mic, the music and the system sounds. Now, this isn't capturing anything right now because what we need to do is we actually need to go into the sound settings and then you come down to your advanced sound options where you see the app volume and device preferences screen. So you go into that and you can see here. So this will be set to default most likely. And um, if you were to play Spotify, like you can, you can see those two things here, like Spotify is playing in the background for me right now, but you can't hear that. Um, I mean, it's not showing up on here because it's not been routed through here yet. So what you need to do is you need to change this to the line two that we set up. Okay, so I just restarted Spotify just so that it would behave itself. But now you can see that the, the music is coming through on the, I forget the name of this, Spectral Analyzer. Um, so that's coming through, but right now I can't hear this either. But this is something that can be broadcast at this stage if you wanted to. If you didn't want to hear the music, then that's absolutely fine. Now, the other thing you got to do is with the system sounds. And ultimately, it's up to you how you achieve this. But what you can do is you can set your line one as your default device for everything. And then literally all devices, unless otherwise specified, will come through this one particular, particular source. So just to illustrate the point, I've just got YouTube playing in the background and this is using the default device. And so it's using the system sounds as it's as its audio source. Again, I can't hear this right now, but this this sound is making its way into OBS and that can then be streamed across to you know, across to Twitch. You see, what we want to do is we want to make sure that in our settings we have in our output streaming Twitch VOD track and set the audio track to one and then the VOD track to two. All right. So this means that when we stream, we're going to stream live this track. And when people watch the replays, they're going to listen to it on this track. Okay. So we come to okay for that. And then we come into this cog and we go to the advanced audio properties. And then what we do is we need to look at these tracks here at the end. So we get rid of all of these extra ones. If you've got those there, then you don't need to worry about those. But basically what we're saying is that this track number one, we said this is our streaming track. So we want all these ticks. So this means that the microphone, the music and the system sounds, they will all be available on the actual live stream. And currently this is going to be the same for the VOD, but we don't want the music on the VOD. So we untick that box. So this track and this track are the only ones that are going to be available on the actual VOD. So providing you don't play any copyrighted music through like say YouTube, for example, then, then that's going to be fine. If you're likely to want to play music and audio from different copyrighted sources, then 
you might want to, uh, instead of selecting the default driver as the virtual audio cable, then you might want to actually specify on a per app basis. Like you could change YouTube, for example, straight through, like leave your system sounds as default, but then change YouTube to that and then the game to the virtual audio cable as well, you see. So this will basically send the correct information through to Twitch so that it knows what to stream and what to play. Now, the last thing that you need to do in order to resolve this issue with you not being able to hear this is you see this audio monitoring. So what you can do is it's default off, but you can actually change that to um, monitor and output. So when you do this, you can now hear the music. But you do also make need to make sure, but because you've changed your default device, you might actually need to change the monitoring device. So this is in under the settings audio, and then change it to the device that you're actually listening to, yeah, actual headphones. So now you can see that the music is coming through there. So this is actually Spotify. I've got the same thing here on, on YouTube. Um so I've got like the two sources playing in my head, which sounds really weird because of the two. There's one thing you do need to remember though. This is really important because it'll have you like banging your head against a brick wall. If you, do, if you don't do this, what you actually need to do is after you've closed OBS, that all the sounds to your headphones will literally stop. It's important that you have that monitoring on to get the sound to you. But if you close OBS, you're going to lose all the game sounds and everything. So you, when you're not streaming, you need to revert this back to the default settings for everything. And this is what makes it a massive pain in the ass. So, I mean, it depends on what you, you know, you want to achieve and how dedicated you are to it and whatever. And maybe if you like start with all this faffing around and as your channel grows, then you can maybe like afford that, the, the, you know, the hardware solution where it's just like brain dead, don't need to worry about anything kind of setup. But yeah, just make sure you don't forget to revert the system settings back to your default drivers after you finish streaming. So that's basically how to set up the virtual audio cables. It's not overly complicated, um, but it's still, it's still a little bit finicky. And I would definitely recommend using the hardware route if at all possible, but that's down to your budget. But if you um, are interested in getting the same hardware setup as me, I'm going to put a link in the description and um, you can, you know, choose to go through that or not. Um, and also the, I'll put a link to the virtual audio cables website in the description as well, because it's a pain in the backside to actually find the website when you're searching for it, because there's been a lot of companies in recent years who have been like, oh yeah, virtual audio cables and it's complete garbage. It's like, it's so hard to find this site. So I'll actually directly link you it in the bottom um, or you can copy it from the URL, but it's up to you. So yeah, um, I hope this has helped. I mean, if you want to give me a thumbs up, if you found this useful, then that'd be appreciated. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent Sure, I want to ask you to subscribe to this channel in all honesty because I don't have the confidence that I'm going to use this channel for long term streaming related things. So, you know, it's going to be like a general creative channel, but you know, you do you. If you want to subscribe, then welcome. If not, then no hard feelings.